हेलो गाइस आई डॉक्टर वीरेंद्र कुमार गुप्ता वेलकम्स यू एट योर यूट्यूब चैनल फॉर द मेडिकल स्टूडेंट्स सो गाइस इन लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट द पेरीनेटल एस्फेक्सिया एंड इन ऑनगोइंग प्रोसेस ऑफ दिस देयर इज द न्यूनेटल रिसस्टेशन वेयर द आर गोल ऑफ रिसस्टेशन इज टू मिनिमाइज द इमीडिएट हीट लॉस विद प्रोवाइडिंग द वार्म्थ एंड ड्राइंग द चाइल्ड एंड एस्टैब्लिशिंग द नॉर्मल रेस्पिरेशन एंड द लंग एक्सपेंशन विद क्लीनिंग द अपर एयरवे एंड यूजिंग द पॉजिटिव प्रेशर वेंटिलेशन इफ रिक्वायर्ड एंड इंक्रीजिंग द आर्टीरियल ऑक्सीजन प्रेशर बाय प्रोवाइडिंग द एडिक्वेट एल्वियोलर वेंटिलेशन एंड सपोर्टिंग द एडिक्वेट कार्डिक आउटपुट सो दस न्यूनेटल रिसस्टेशन इज द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड इनिशियल स्टेप टू बी डन बिफोर टू द बर्थ एज द एंटीनेटल काउंसिलिंग इज टू बी डन for the parents who required the special condition where the neonatal resuscitation is required and in the initial resuscitation the every birth should be attended by the at least one person who is the advanced airway and resuscitation skilled person and all equipment as the radiant heat warmer ambu bag laryngoscope bag and mask Uh, tubes suction tubes and suction equipment all should be in the functioning condition and to be checked before to the birth of the child at the time of birth we should think about the three question as the child is term or preterm and good muscle tone is not or yet or there is child is breathing or crying normally if yes the routine care to be provided to the child as with the providing the warmth and temperature to be maintained and position of the airway to be given and if required clean, cleaning the airway with the suctioning and dry the child and ongoing evaluation to be done guys if the child having good condition at the birth uh, delayed cord clamping should be uh, performed at least 30 second after the birth so guys muscle child is preterm or muscle tone is not good and breathing or crying is not good the initial resuscitation step to be done by the warm, provide the warmth and temperature to be maintained at 36.5 to 37.5 degrees celsius and position the airway and suction the airway with the drying and stimulate if required and the reposition to be done and child guys after this step if the child is good and there is no apnea or gasping and heart rate is maintained but the child having the labored breathing or sinusis is there with the pulse oximetry we can uh, check at preductal spo2 at, at the one minute the spo2 preductal spo2 be at 60 to 65% which should be increased at per minute 5% and at the rate 10 minute it should be 85 to 95% and if the labored breathing and sinusis is persistent we should position the airway and clear the airway and spo2 monitoring with the pulse oximetry to be done and if required supplemental oxygen can be given to the child with the cpap and if the apnea or gasping is persistent and heart rate is less than 100 per minute there is the important step Uh, and positive pressure ventilation can be given at this step with the spo2 monitoring and easy monitoring by the three lead easy when the heart rate can be monitored with the use of three lead easy and oxygen saturation can be taken with the pulse oximetry and this is the golden minute where we should initial assessment initial step of the resuscitation to be done and reevaluate the patient and beginning of the ventilation if required positive pressure ventilation can be done at this stage so guys after the step if the heart rate is more than 100 beats per minute post resuscitation care to be provide the child and if the heart rate is less than 100 beats per minute check the airway and is re uh, re restart the position and technique for the achieving the effective ventilation to be done by the mnemons can be keep in your mind as the mr sopa with the m for the adjust the mask and seal the uh, nose and mask and r for the reposition of the airway by the sniffing position of the child as the slightly extended of the neck with the shoulder roll to be kept below the shoulders 
and S for the suction and clear the airway, O for the open the mouth and uh, slightly anterior to the jaw and P for the initiate or increase pressure to the chest to chest rise and A for the if required the airway intubation may be required at this step. So guys after this step if the heart rate is more than 100 or more than 100 is maintained then post resuscitation care to be given but if the heart rate is less than 60 beats per minute after this step advanced airway can be required and intubation may be required if not done yet and intubation as well as CPR may be required with the chest compression as the heart rate if less than 60 we should uh, do the chest compression with the two hand method two finger method is not used routinely nowadays and 100% oxygen to be provided and after this step the heart rate is maintained more than 60 that's good if the heart rate is less than 60 we can require some medication as the uh, epinephrine or adrenaline to be given and first dose of the epinephrine can be given by the ET tube at the rate of 0.5 to 1 milligram per kilogram with the concentration of the 1 to 10,000 and next dose of the adrenaline can be given if the heart rate is not maintained uh, more than 60 with the umbilical catheter or IV cannula or intraosseously and if the there is low volume or high volume is there normal saline or blood can be given at the rate of 10 ml per kg so guys after this step if the patient is good then better otherwise we should think about the another condition as the if child having the pneumothorax if the diaphragmatic hernia is there pleural effusion or any chest condition or the any pericardial uh, effusion or abscesses may be there so guys this is the initial resuscitation steps in case of the special uh, scenarios uh, like the uh, meconium aspiration like her where the initial step to be done with the if required positive pressure ventilation can be given and the guys intubation for the tracheal suction is not required nowadays for the meconium aspiration and the pneumothorax or pleural effusion can be drained by the percutaneous needle aspiration and if the child having the diaphragmatic hernia intubation to be done as soon as possible. So guys this is all about the neonatal resuscitation. So guys if you did not subscribe our channel yet subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to get our notification as soon as possible and share the uh, video to the all medical student for their benefit and like the channel and comment in the comment section of this video thank you very much